Hi everyone, so I completely forgot to record an intro and outro for this video, but I hope you enjoy it. This video is in collaboration with the Australian Wigs. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. We're on the road to 1K. Leave a like and a comment and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so today I will be installing this wig that was sent to me by the Australian Wig. I will leave their Instagram on the screen so you can go and check them out and order your own wig as well. Um, it is a custom made wig, so they've made it perfect for my head size and everything like that. Um, it's been dyed beautifully. Um, it's a full blonde wig. I do have like an ombre, kind of like an ombre, so it's like dark roots and then obviously blonde at the ends. So I do have a wig like that, but this wig is like full blonde. Um, I did tone it a little bit because when it came it was a darker blonde which is nice. It actually is a really nice colour but I felt as though it didn't really complement my skin tone very well and like I mean I could have made it work if I wanted to um, but yeah I did tone it a little bit just to neutralise the blonde a little bit more but I'll definitely be going back to them for a different colour wig. Maybe I'll try red or I'll try more of like an ash tone brown blonde wig. So it came in this box. I won't show my ad dress um, and then inside the box obviously comes the wig which is just this beauty right here and it's in this gorgeous custom bag that says the Australian wig and then inside the box they sent me a whole bunch of goodies that I will be using to install my wig so it comes with hair mousse um, a wax stick. I have been needing one of these. Lace glue so that your wig don't go nowhere. Um, and then obviously lace glue remover. And then a lace tint spray. And then a styling comb brush thing. Edge brush. Edge brush. And then a headband to hold my wig in place while it dries. And then some edge control. So I'm going to be using all of these to install the wig. Um, as well as beating my face. So here she is, my beautiful custom made wig and it came curled and everything like it was ready to wear essentially so they curled it um, and styled it for me but then when I toned it obviously the curls came out and everything like that so we're starting from scratch. We're going to style this wig, um, obviously we're going to install it and then we're going to style it and then yeah. So I just did the bold cap method and I know I'm looking crazy right now. Um, so now I'm about to spray the lace tint onto the lace of the wig. So we're just spraying the lace like that. Okay. I killed it with the bold cap method. Like you can't even see the cap at all. And this is what the colour looks like now on my skin. It's a lot nicer than what it was before. Um, before, like I said, it was really nice. But I feel as though toning it definitely gave me the colour that I was after. And now I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. Wow. Hi, Auntie. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Okay, you guys, so I have finished installing my hair. I, <laughs> I'm obsessed. I absolutely killed this install. Um, I did curl it and I'll brush out the curls as soon as I've finished my makeup. So yeah, let's get into makeup today. As for makeup, I honestly don't know what look I'm going to go with today. I might just make something up as I go. Um, or I'll quickly go on Instagram and see if I can find some inspiration. Wow. I killed this! 
Okay, so I'm going to start off with my eyebrows today and I'm just going to use the Chocolate Mousse Shade Brow Cream from Morphe. So lately I've been doing my eyebrows a lot thinner than what I usually do and I feel as though like it just looks a lot more natural on my face when my eyebrows are thinner and yeah, like I've just been loving it. Um, I used to do like <clears throat> very dramatic Instagram brows but now I feel as though less is definitely more. I'm definitely loving how my makeup routine has changed um it's definitely changed for the better that's for sure you guys i'm literally meant to be doing an assignment right now but here i am filming a video for you guys like it's due tomorrow at 11 p.m have i even started no diamonds are made under pressure so as soon as i finish filming and wash off my makeup i'm just going to work on it until I fall asleep. I don't know why they're looking grey on camera, but I promise you, this is my eyebrow shade. <laughs> so that's done, and moving on to concealer today, I am just using the L'Oreal Paris. I can never say this, I don't know why saying L'Oreal Paris is such a tongue twister, but I'm using the L'Oreal Paris um, Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade Honey Meal, so 338. I should have primed my face. You know, I'm going to quickly prime my face. I know my primer is looking a little bit ghetto. Um, ew, I'm not even going to show you, but I'm using the Ordinary's High Adherent Silicone Primer. Yeah, it's actually really good. I'm not going to look. Look at the tube. Like, oh, it's all brown and it's just... It's not it. It's not it. I definitely need to start storing my makeup better. There we go. So now we can go back to concealing my brows. I don't know why I have so much energy right now. Like it's 11 p.m. at night. I'm just gonna do this like this. I'm not even gonna bother getting a concealer brush and just very gently, I'm going to conceal. Then the next one. I look so scary. I think I put on way too much concealer, but I'm just going to use it as my eyeshadow base as well. So, you guys have probably noticed that my filming setup is different compared to the last Get Ready With Me. And that is because your girl has moved into a bigger bedroom, a much nicer bedroom than my last bedroom. Um, so, yeah, my parents decided that they were going to extend the house and build more bedrooms um, and also I needed more space especially with like my business and uni and content creation and all of that kind of stuff so yeah I'm grateful for the bedroom that I have now I am planning on doing a room tour soon I just need to finalize a few more details it's pretty much ready to go for the room tour so I can't wait to show you guys hopefully that will be the next video that I put up my eyes are concealed and I'm going to set that now with some powder and I'm just using the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder to set my concealer on my eyes before we move into eyeshadow. And I don't know what look I'm going to create. I want to be edgy today. I want to try something new. Um, my eyeshadow game has definitely fallen off in the last couple of months. Um, I'm not as skilled as I used to be, which is really bad. Like, all I do nowadays is just like an everyday beat. Um, you'd be lucky if you catch me wearing eyeliner. Like, that's probably the most that I do on a special day. Um, but yeah, as for like my eyeshadow game, like, I want to get back into it. But yeah, for the longest time, or well, for the most part nowadays, my makeup looks are just very like natural glam it's quick and easy so it's not very time consuming and it's also very like it's also good because yeah like you don't have to worry about matching your eyeshadow to your outfits or anything like that like it's just very straightforward whereas i feel as though with eyeshadow nowadays it's just for fun really it's just for fun um but yeah, I want to get back into doing eyeshadow looks and stuff like that. And just getting back into makeup again because like I've really like, yeah, I've stopped doing makeup the way that I used to. But at the same time, my skills have improved. If that, does that even make sense? Like my makeup skills have improved but at the same time. Anyways, I'm just rambling right now. Okay, I found the look that I'm going to create. 
Um, so I don't know if you guys have heard of Beats by Deb on Instagram, but she posted this video like last month and the eyeshadow look is really, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to recreate this. Like it's edgy and it's fun. Like it's definitely different to what I usually do, but at the same time, it's still giving that winged eye look, which, oh, I love it. I'm living for it. I'm gonna do it. To create Beats by Deb's look today, I'm going to use the Chocolates palette by Juvia's Place because it has the browns and it has the nude that I'm going to be using. So it works out perfectly. I just need to use the one palette, which is what I love, an easy look. So I'm going to take this dark brown shade here to create the winged look. I'm actually so scared guys. I don't know why like whew. but anyways um, Let me see you guys in close-up. That's oh, I think that's as close as we can get isn't it? But okay So This is already looking like it's about to fail. Yes, okay. Yep. This brush is definitely giving what it was supposed to give. Do you guys see that? And then creating Cat eye, extending the wing. And now I am up to the nude color right here. Fuck, I'm actually, I am horrible at makeup terminology. That is one thing about me. Like, I, this beauty guru thing is, oh, it's not really for me. My makeup terminology is weak. It's weak. It's actually really bad, so I apologize. But yeah, this nude shade right here and this brush, I'm going to put that in the center of the eyeshadow wing that we just created. Does that make sense? You following me? Cool. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, I like this. It's coming together very nice, very nice. It's really giving what it was supposed to give. Okay, um, what else can I talk about? Oh yeah, I got a job. So, one thing about me is in this life, I have to have multiple streams of income. Um, so for the past year, I haven't been working like an actual job. Um, my last job was working at Swarovski, which I absolutely loved. It was actually a great experience. I was working there for the summer. Um, and then after that, I haven't worked because obviously COVID hit. And then I just decided, you know what? At the moment, my priority is going to be uni and content creation and my business. So yeah, that's what I was focusing on last year. Um, I didn't have like a job job. And now I am a disability support worker. So life has definitely, I wouldn't say it's come full circle, but yeah, like I've gone in a direction that I feel as though I've found my calling in like in terms of work um, I'm helping people which is all I ever wanted that's even what I plan on doing like when I finish my law degree um, I want to be either human rights migration lawyer just something that has to do with helping people um, or I might not even be a lawyer or oh, and I'll probably just work for like the department of foreign affair and trade but yeah as for content creation that's all going good still out here working with these brands I've kind of slowed down a little bit especially with uni and stuff like I had too much on my plate and sometimes I feel as though brands don't realize that we're human beings as well we have our own lives um, not all of us are doing this full time especially our small creators like I'm only on like what 19.4k followers at the moment and yeah, I feel as though sometimes brands don't like consider the fact that we have lives. And so yeah, I kind of like toned down on like my collabs and stuff and like I just take them on when I have the time, if that makes sense. But then I still have like my consistent monthly collaborations that I do with like Glassons and Boohoo and Nasty Girl. Um, yeah those ones are easy because I've got like the whole month to create content for them whereas some brands like they just they just be rushing you like shit I literally just received the item today and you want the content tomorrow like I don't have a life like I don't have a 12 hour shift to go work plus uni work to come and do mm. but yeah um I'm still grateful for what I do uh I've recently signed on with a influencer slash modeling agency so you girls now represented by neon model management they represent some pretty amazing people um and they also host some really cool events I think that was like 
one of the main things that attracted me to them was the people that they represent and the events that they've hosted um, and also like the brands as well that they represent so yeah that's why I decided I'm going to join an agency so when they reached out to me I was like yes sign me up where do I sign up and of course I still do my own freelance stuff so if brands go out of their way to hit me up personally I'll still work with them um, I don't really go out of my way to contact brands anymore because like I said like I don't want to stress myself out with too much work and I feel as though like brands expect when you reach out to them that it's free work like no no honey like I expect to be paid um, so that's why I don't really reach out to brands because it's kind of like they didn't reach out to me why am I now going and messaging them demanding them to pay me for the work I'm gonna put my lashes on and then I'll be right back so we can finish the rest of my face for foundation of course I'm gonna be using my double wear do I even use anything else like I've literally got a whole drawer full of foundations behind me but every day I always end up turning to my Estee Lauder Double Wear. If not, then it's the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Those are like my two go-tos. Foundation is done and just going back in with my concealer to highlight. I'm just gonna let that dry for a bit um, before I blend it all out and then we'll move on to contour and set the face. I absolutely love a really bright under eye. I don't know what it is, but it just makes your face look so snatched. Oh, I live for it. Um, I go over with a translucent powder and then I set it all with a powder that is the same shade as the concealer and for powder of course I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty I swear this is like the only powder that I use um, if you guys know any good ones definitely put me on because I need to like expand like my makeup range because it's I just use the same products and I've got heaps of makeup which doesn't make sense like there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been opened just because I'm so used to like what I already know but yeah I definitely need to start trying other products as well so if you know of any really good face powders let me know okay to contour my face I'm going to be using this contour stick by Morphe um this is like my go-to I absolutely love this I feel as though I definitely should have done this before like setting my concealer but it is what it is we're still gonna do it anyway yum I'm just looking so good taking my Morphe face palette I'm just gonna go over my contour and then taking the NYX can't stop won't stop setting powder in the shade medium deep I'm just going to set the rest of my face where I haven't highlighted and contoured Okay, so my face is done. Moving on to my lips now. Okay, so for my lips, I know this is real. I don't even know the words ghetto, but I use this eyeliner gel from e.l.f. and I just use it to line my lips. And then I take my concealer and I put that in the center. I know I look crazy right now, but trust the process, my sister. Trust the process, okay? Lip gloss from Dashing Ink. I'm pretty sure this is say Dawn. Um, but you should definitely check out Dashing Ink. Support my girl Rose. Um, this is my favorite lip gloss and also the clear one from her. Amazing. Ooh. 